Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about transferring over your save uh, game data. Uh, let's, for instance, Minecraft. Now, my son had an old iPad 1, and he got a brand new one because this one was all cracked. It was old. Uh, he's got a brand new iPad 4, iPad Mini 4. This is the iPad Mini 1. So he wanted to transfer all his uh, worlds over onto the new iPad. And I told them there's no way to do it. If you have Game Center, maybe they will remember the game. If you have Xbox Live, uh, it will be able to do it. But we tried it, and for some reason, it wouldn't pass over his worlds and his uh, you know, information. So I'm going to show you how to do that today on the computer. So basically, you hook up your iPad minis, both with the lightning cable to the computer. I have it here, uh, hooked into my computer, my MacBook. Let me move that a little bit like that. And you can see the MacBook uh, connected there. Now on the MacBook here, you're going to see uh, this iExplorer app. Now that's this app down here. Uh, basically, you get it for free. You use it as a trial. They ask you to donate every time you open it, but you just close that out. So I made two folders on my desktop, one called Minecraft New and one is called Minecraft Old. Uh, just two blank folders. So when you open up iExplorer and you have both of your iPads connected, you're going to see the uh, Jason's uh, iPad. That's the old one. That's this green one right here. Then you're going to see iPad uh, 1, and that's the iPad 1. That's how I saved it. So when they show up, they show up here, and then you pretty much you hit on apps, and you hit on Minecraft, say for instance. It's one of the apps. So in this, there's uh, uh, folders inside this called games and internal now pretty much it's going to be the same thing on the other one now both of them are run in ios firmware uh, 9.3.4 uh, none of them are jailbroken so you can access your file system uh, basically save games things like that with this app so uh, you see here games internal is empty there's nothing inside internal but in, in games you see ds store you see com that minecraft and you see uh, other folders in here, and they have subfolders and all that stuff. But we're just going to keep it closed. We're going to make it simple. So here is the apps on the older iPad, and this has his worlds uh, that he built. So we open that up. Like I said, internals empty, but then games has pretty much the same thing, and it adds files as he builds worlds and adds mods and 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 ca you know makes his character different. So, and also the, it's got a snooper folder and all that stuff like that. So, we're going to show you how to, how to just put everything back over. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take Jason's old iPad, and we have the app here. We've got Minecraft. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. Let me just close this down a little bit. And I'm going to just take these two folders here and highlight them. So, I'm going to hit the Command button, and I'm going to highlight both of these folders. I'm going to hit right mouse button. I'm going to export to a folder. So you export to a folder, and I'm going to put it in uh, on, it's on my desktop, and I'm going to put it in as Minecraft Old. And I'm just going to hit Export. And what it's going to look like is this. It's going to have both of the folders inside here like that. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, with, the, with the other one, with the new iPad. I'm going to go to Apps. Of course, you have to have both of the apps installed on, on, on the uh, iPads. So I'm going to open that up. This is his new iPad. And I'm going to simply do this, and I'm going to copy both of these into, uh, you know, right mouse button and export to a folder, and then it's going to look like this. So the difference between the two is they're both empty and internal, okay? And being that he has a couple of saved worlds on here, uh, he's going to have a little bit different on the inside of the com. Okay, he's going to have a snooper folder in that one and all that stuff. Oh, sorry. My picture's opened up. All right, so let's do this now. We have both folders, all right? And we're going to take the old, and we're going to drag it into the new. So here's his new iPad right here. Go into apps, and we back them both up, all right, in case something goes wrong. And we have internal and games, right? So we're going to hit that. We're going to hit this, and we're going to delete delete both of these folders from the new iPad okay we're gonna delete those so they're gone we're gonna shut down we're gonna turn back on again and we're gonna go into Jason's new iPad 
and we're going to click in here and we're going to click in there. Jason's my son, by the way. So we go in. Here's his new iPad. Uh, it didn't delete. Let me delete it again. So we're going to hit delete. All right, so we deleted them now. Now there's nothing in there. Now we're going to take the old ones. This is his old one. I'll show you. See, Minecraft old. And I'm going to not copy the documents, but I'm going to copy these two folders. And I'm going to right mouse button, copy. And then I'm going to put them right in here, and I'm going to hit paste. Now watch the iPads. Now I took them out of here, and I put them in here. Still copying over. And you see the world's populating there? See? That's the new iPad. Now I can keep the old iPad, but I plan on wiping this out and giving it to, you know, my nephew or whatever. But you're going to see all his uh, save games are going to show up here, even his username and all that stuff. So basically, we're not going to wait for this, but it's still building. It's building, 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 and you'll be able to go right in and play uh, no problem. Uh, let me show you a world. So we have a world here, and it saved the world, and now you have it on your new iPad. Here it is. Here's the world that uh, we created right here, and it's just simply awesome. You can go back to the game. You can um, quit the title, and we can hit play again and play a different world. Oh, sorry, that's the same world. Play a different world. Oh. Obviously, I don't play this game often. So we can hit play, and we can pick a different world, and now we'll rebuild on this world. Now I can easily put it back, uh, the old one here, and run it on both, uh, all the games being saved. So basically, that's how you do it. You use iExplorer, and pretty much you go into the games, and you save all that data you transfer from one to another and you're all set so i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if there's anything you think i did wrong anything that would be improved please put them in the comments and don't forget to hit that like button thank you and have a nice day